Finally, here at 7, sky watchers have been catching a glimpse of something rare in the evening sky. The brightest comet of the year is passing by. John Hickey joins us from the backyard with this week's Sky Watch 16. Yeah, Lisa, this one's actually been a little bit of a talker on social media. People kind of pointing it out to me saying, hey, what's this thing? I'm seeing it just right around sunset, a little bit after that, kind of low. What is going on? So I have a great image to share with you first, then we dive into it. And uh, this is a pretty good one. This is from uh, Tom. I'm Will Donner at the Dark Side Observatory in Weatherly, friend of the program with our Skywatch 16 segment. And he snapped this off a couple of nights ago when it was plenty clear, about 45 minutes or so, maybe half an hour after sunset. And there it is. You can kind of see what looks like a bright star almost right here. And that is the Comet Leonard. So what is it? Well, it was actually just discovered this year by Greg Leonard. That's kind of the cool part about discovering something in space. You can name it after yourself. Uh, its closest pass a little bit earlier this month was a mere 21.7 million miles away. So that's about 100 times farther away from Earth than our moon is. It hasn't been nearby in nearly 70,000 years, and it's never returning. Yeah, it actually came into our the inner part of our solar system, did a little loop around the sun, and then see you later. This thing is long gone, never to be seen again. So how do you see it? What are you looking for? So look for the planet Venus. It looks like a very bright star, pretty low on the horizon. Again, just a little bit after sunset, and you should be able to spot it. Might be difficult without something like a camera lens or a telescope, but you're going to want to look to the lower right of Venus, and you should be able to find this. So pretty good stuff. Also, uh, coming up next week, we're going to be chatting with uh, some NASA scientists about the new telescope that's going out out into space. And uh, that is set to be launched sometime in the next week or so, weather dependent, of course. And uh, we'll be chatting with them and talking more about the new telescope that's going to be replacing Hubble. Uh, as soon as it can get out there and get into position. So uh, exciting stuff uh, happening in the world of Skywatch. We've got a comet, the brightest one of the year, a little brighter than Neo Eyes, which was passing through over the summer. And uh, now all is head. All we're looking forward to now is the new telescope, Lisa. Sounds good. I can't wait to see that. I better yeah. hurry up so I can see Leonard.